Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex here with Freedom Mowers. Hope you guys are having a good one. Today I've got a push mower in here that will not start and uh, I'm going to show you guys exactly why today. It's a really common engine. I'll go ahead and show you guys. This particular one is on a Troy built. Uh, this has the, I believe this one was the 550 or the 500 series Briggs and Stratton. Uh, but this is also a Craftsman here with the same engine and also an MTD. All the same engines, just a little bit different uh, bodies on them, but they're all Briggs and Stratton newer models. And uh, pretty much what's going on with this machine is I got it, it was kind of a mess. I tried to start it, it would sputter a little bit. I've been through the carburetor on here and I also checked the flywheel key while I was at it and I still can't get this to start. Um, I'll take it outside, give it a couple pulls, show you guys uh, kind of just how it sounds right now. We're really getting nothing out of it. And then I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's wrong with it and how to fix it. And like I said, guys, I've got some fresh fuel in here. I've already been through the fuel tank, I've checked through the fuel line, carburetor's all good. I've been through the whole thing. Um, so we'll give it a couple pulls. I know it's got spark, I've checked that. Checked the timing on the flywheel key. That's pretty much all I'm getting right there. I had, um, when I first tried it, uh, I was able to get a couple little sputters and backfires, and um, that's pretty much all I've gotten out of it. So let's get it back into the shop. I'll show you guys exactly what's going on with it, and let's get it fixed. All right. And the problem with this machine lies right underneath of this cover on your valve train. Um, we'll go ahead and pop that cover off. I'm gonna show you guys. We just need some real basic tools for doing this job, a valve adjustment. Uh, I've got an eight millimeter. I've got a set of feeler gauges. I've got a T10 uh, Torx driver. And I've got a little quarter inch uh, ratchet here that I'm either gonna go between the impact or the ratchet and just a 5 16 uh, socket. So we'll go ahead and get the cover off from here. Let me get a rag to put underneath because when you take this cover off, you're gonna get a little bit of oil just to drip out. All right, well, we got a rag down. I'm gonna go ahead and take the spark plug wire loose on here. That way we don't have any kind of accidental starts. Just for safety, we're gonna use our 5 16 to take the valve cover bolts out. And this is what I discovered the other day. The intake valve uh, rocker was basically about to fall off. It was barely holding on. And uh, the set screw in the middle here um, was very loose. So at this point, what I like to do to set my valves, um, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. I'll just show you the way that I do it. Uh, I wanna make sure that the opposite valve is depressed that I'm trying to work on. So basically we're, we're gonna try to work on this intake uh, valve clearance first. So I wanna make sure that my exhaust valve is pushed down. So you can see as I rotate, now it's coming back up. So that is actually all the way down. So at this point, we can go ahead and adjust the intake valve and I'm just going to go ahead and use a five thousandths on both because the book said um, four to eight thousandths so I want to go a little bit on the tighter side so right off the bat this is gonna this is way 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 out so normally you just make very minute adjustments so basically you're going to want to feel a slight amount of drag of your feeler gauge going in and out between the top of the valve and your rocker. And sometimes you have to do this a couple times to get it just right. You don't want it binding, but you want to feel a little drag. So right about in there, uh, I'm going to adjust it a little bit as I start to tighten it up. So at this point, I'm gonna take my 
eight millimeter. I'm just gonna get it on here and then lightly set the set screw with that T10 and then we're gonna check it again. And that actually feels really good right there. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and set that completely. Try not to knock it out of adjustment because it's very easy to, uh, to get it out of adjustment. So just make sure Yeah, we got just a little bit of drag right there. So we should be good. That should be right at five thousandths right there on the intake. And let's just torque this one more time just to make sure. Don't want that backing out again. Yeah. And that feels good. So I'm just gonna do the same process you guys saw me do on the exhaust. So basically what I'll do is I'll rotate the engine until the intake is all the way in the pushed, pushed in position. And when this one's all the way um, relieved of pressure, and then we will do the, uh, the gap on that. I'm just gonna do that off camera. I'll get these set. And then uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and get the cover back on and we'll, we'll see if this is gonna start up for us. All right, well I just wanted to show you guys, finished up here, got the uh, the 5,000 gap just right. So uh, at this point, uh, just make sure that your gasket, it's got a rubber gasket that goes around here, looks like it's in good shape and it's in position. Then you can go ahead and just put your valve cover back up and then go ahead and get these started on here. I am going to use a impact lightly on here. You can use a uh, ratchet, whatever you feel comfortable with. Just make sure they're snugged up, but don't over torque them because you can strip them easily. Should be pretty much about it. Check your oil. Uh, since you lost just a little bit here uh, dripping out reconnect up the spark plug and we'll take this back outside and see if it'll fire up all right and real quick before we take this out to try and fire it up if you guys do like this kind of content think about uh, subscribing below and uh, you know let me know let me know what you guys want to see I'm trying to have a good variety of uh, fixes and repairs and tips uh, on some of the newer equipment, older stuff. Um, if I can get my hands on some commercial stuff, I will. Uh, but a lot of this, uh, a lot of these repairs are on homeowner equipment. So I'm hoping that this is helping you guys out. So I certainly do appreciate it. We're almost at 300 subscribers, so that's awesome. And I'm super excited. So let's get this machine out and see if it'll fire up. The moment of truth. Well, it fired right up and I am excited about that. It sounds good. Uh, sometimes you'll start to get a little chatter in these overhead valve engines as well. And uh, that's a good time where you need to get in there and get the uh, adjustment done uh, before it gets uh, so far out of spec as to this machine uh, that it won't even run. So it is good practice to uh, just pop that valve cover off and uh, do a valve adjustment on it. And I hope that this helps somebody out. I really appreciate you guys joining and uh, checking out the channel. And uh, on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let freedom ring and let this small engine sing. I'll see you guys next time.